Hi, I'm Magpie. And I'm Jax. And this is Mondays, Mondays with Magpie. <laughs> and today we are going to make cream of chicken soup. Which sounds delicious and decadent. I can't it wait. really is. All right, and we're going to make it two ways so the whole family can eat, not just the person on a special diet. Right, if you're gluten free, you'll have one option, or diabetic, or keto, or any of those things. Yep. You'll have the one option. And, and your kids need to eat too. You can throw some pasta in there with whatever. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to cook some bacon. Okay. All right. So why don't you get that started? Now. Now we've already. We're just using the same pan that we. Yeah. Yeah. So it's already. Loaded. All right. Give it. Uh, give it a couple minutes to get warm, and throw in the bacon. So it is a four slices. It's four slices. Of bacon? Yeah. Four slices of bacon. That's going to be the garnish on our soup when it's all finished. So we're going to cook it and then put it aside. Which for garnish, this is fine, but I love baking bacon. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's it's nice. so good when you bake it. But it's only four slices, so no, I know, it's I know. kind of silly. All right, now then, the other thing, the recipe calls for celery, and it didn't say to cook it. And I think that would be kind of awful. So, um, I mean, crunchy a little bit, yes. So here's how I do it, Jax. Okay. I cut the celery in little tiny strips like this. And then I make nice little nice little squares. Because if you're gonna be crunching, I think it's nicer to have a small crunch. Okay. Alright, what am I doing? Oh <laughs> Hey, if you want a sous chef, that's kind of weak. That's a little small. So once the bacon gets going, we'll put the uh, the celery in with the, the bacon and let it go. Okay, and how much celery was it again? It was four stalks. Four stalks? Four, four stalks. bacons? Yep, that's I'm it. sensing a pattern. Yep. <laughs> four stalks. Four chicken thighs? <laughs> yeah, four. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I never noticed. Yeah, so it's yeah, four stalks of celery, four chicken thighs, boneless and skinless, and four slices of bacon. Were you going to show how to do that? With yes, I will show you how. Now, the first thing about chicken is it can get nasty. So what you want to do is you always have a cutting board that you can wash, not a wooden board. You always have um, something you can really disinfect. Okay, so here we go. Ready? I am asking Maggie to do this because I don't really work with chicken thighs very much, and I don't know how to do this process. Well, first of all, you skin him. So, so you take all the skin, I just put my thumb under there and loosen it all up and then yank. Okay. So it's lovely. It's just so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you pull that off. Yeah. And, and then you turn it over and you can see the bone right there. Very, very easy to find. And then just, uh, just cut it out. Now, you can find boneless, skinless thighs, but sometimes you can get nice specials when you're at the market. And it's for chicken that hasn't been processed as much. And boning a chicken is just one extra step that you get to pay for. And why bother? You know, you can do it at home. So uh, it's much easier than I thought. I would, yeah. I would have braved it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to it. You just cut the bones out. My hands are slippery now. But um, just cut the bones out. And voila. And there you have it. Deboned, deboned, deboned chicken. There we are. Just a nice little sharp knife or whatever you've got. But it should be nice and sharp. That's it. We're sizzling over here. That means something's happening. That's it, yeah. Nice. Just flip them over once. Okay, I'm going to throw this away. Okay. I don't have to compost that because I only do vegetables, fruit, and things like that. I don't do any of that. And I'm just washing my hands with lots of soap and water. Yes, I need to do. I'm transferring the bacon into the soup pot. This is a pot that I'm going to cook my soup in. I was supposed to start it there, and I just uh, I just started it in the wrong pan. I guess so there anyway. needs to be, you said there needs to be some fat in there. So yeah, that's why you're starting yeah, it there. some fat. So now I'll put this one in, and then we can put that last chicken thigh to there cook. There. Yeah, just a few minutes on each side. They cook very, very quickly. And then we set that aside. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. So that is the four chicken thigh. The other three we did a little ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, that's ready, and then put that aside and wait yep. for this bacon. And set aside. Now, why don't you put the bacon over? Okay. And then we'll. Oh, it's, it's coming along. Off the burner. So I don't get grease splattered on my face. 
It's one of the benefits of doing the bottom of the pot, you know, it's flatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. There's a lot of grease coming out of that dough. Okay, Jack, so it looks like the bacon is crispy enough. Okay. Let's put it on the, the towel. Drip off the grease there. Yeah. Now what are we going to do with all this? That's a lot of... Well, a lot of grease. <laughs> I think I'm going to pour most of it out. I save all my bacon grease, and then I mix it with bird seed, oh. and I make little cakes. I put it in the refrigerator and harden oh, wow. it up. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, and then I put it out. Oh my, I've got the happiest birds in the whole wide world. Right. It's very, very hot. Be better than <laughs> some other people. Here you go. I got, I got it. it. I got it. All right, now then, once I dump this out all over the place. Okay, now. We're going to throw in the garlic. Okay. Uh, that's a lot. It said three cloves, but. Um, oh, you never really have to do yeah, that. Yeah, you can't have too much garlic. And then some of this. Mushrooms. Now, what did it call for mushrooms? It says three ounces of mushrooms. Okay. Uh, you don't have little three ounces. Yeah. 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 And then. And then one third of a cup of white wine. It says cooking wine. I don't know what that is. Cooking wine is anything that's good to drink. All right, so we're using nice white wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we're supposed to let that go until it is reduced by about half. So you figure out what half is, okay? <laughs> you just, well, it's probably you gonna just keep on stirring. The mushrooms and the, the celery is gonna add some liquid. Yeah. It's probably going to take a little time to then reduce it, right? Yeah. Okay, we've reduced. Has it been a stirring experience for you? <laughs> it has. It's been moving. It has been moving. <laughs> okay. All right. Now then, we have to put in three cups of chicken broth. You like? There we go. All right. We're coming close. Now we're going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. Okay and a half a cup of coconut milk. Mm. There we go. Yeah. All right. Do you feel tropical? Yeah. You should feel, you should feel very, very tropical. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I think that's it. Now, all we have to do is add the chicken because it is, after all, Cream of chicken. We already do that, and I just throw it in there. No, we're gonna chop it up. Ah, uh, see, we're yeah. gonna chop it up. All right, you want to chop it? Um, sure. What do we do with this? Toss you it put in, it in the sink. Okay. All right. Any preference to how it's chopped? Yeah. Sliced? Just bite size, sort of. Yeah, because we have to. You want to bite size it, I think. You go, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> chop that chicken. <laughs> All right. Put it in. Put it in. Ah, hope it tastes good. Okay, ready? And then, when that is finished, we just... Have a cup of tea? We have a cup of tea. <laughs> no, then, then we put in some parsley to make it look pretty. Oh, parsley. And, uh, you and eat with your eyes, you eat, say. Oh, yeah, you always eat with your eyes first, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I should do more eating with my eyes. <laughs> You wouldn't have to have this low cal yeah, soup. Yeah, I could do too much eating with my mouth. Like, is, is this a low cal soup or is it more? Yes, a, it's not low cal. It's oh, keto. Oh, it's keto. low carb. Low carb. Yes, low carb. So it's good for people of low carb. Okay. So no low cal. Yeah. No, I certainly know. not low cal. I can't keep track Heavy of my cream. food. I can barely keep track of uh, yeah. anything else. <laughs> so. Now this is good. All right. all right, you're a good chip chicken chopper. Well, you know, we all have our skills. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. And this was one that we didn't know that you had. <laughs> Never knew. <laughs> all right. All right, and then we just we bring it to a simmer. And now, could you maybe do this with the chicken breast if you didn't want the I think fatty? So. Yeah. I, I just this has the flavor. Yeah. So yeah. This is but yeah, so much more flavor. All right. Yeah, you have to do that. There you are. Yes. Wash your hands. <laughs> Here we have some parsley. Yes. And I'm just chopping all of it? About a tablespoon. Oh. See how many okay. leaves you can get out of there. That's sort of the end of the bunch there. All right. And then we'll sprinkle that in, and that will add some nice color. And then, uh, then we're going to salt and pepper it, just in case it needs anything. You said a tablespoon. I might have a little more than that. Well, last oh. time it looked like such a 
professional. This time I'm like, oh. <laughs> Dump it. <laughs> Just remember what you learned, dear. Oh, man, I gotta watch that video again. <laughs> Chopping 101. <laughs> okay, ready? I got some stems in there. How do you feel about that? You know what? Not a good idea. Yeah, flavor. Doesn't that look pretty? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Nice that and little green, green in there. And lovely. All right, I am now going to get in there and give it a taste. See what, if it needs anything. It's kind of interesting. All right, well, now I've yeah. got to have a taste. Wait, That's not fair. I'm getting your food. <laughs> Here we go. I've I'm always been to. on the snacks. Snacks, Jacks. Jack snacks. Here we go. Coconut. You can taste the coconut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's kind of nice, isn't it? It's very, very light. Yeah, I like it. Very, very nice. It's not really light. It's definitely like, it's got like a richness nice, to yeah, it. Yeah, it's very, very rich. But it's... And then, for the piece de resistance, because everything's better with bacon, <laughs> we're going to crunch up the bacon. Now, this time, this time we made it uh, in strips, but I bet you, you probably could chop it up in the beginning when it's raw and cook it that way. You can cook faster. Yeah, we'll cook faster if you were in. This soup is not taking very long to make. Uh, maybe, this is, maybe it takes, is it possible to freeze off of it when it's chopped a little like that? Is that how you yeah, do it? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You just, you know, strain it off onto a paper towel and and, uh, and there you oh, go. Wow. And Bob is your uncle, <laughs> even if he's not. <laughs> okay, ready, get set, here we go. Oh, you put it in already? Well, I'm going to, because right. I think it will help the flavor. Yeah, it's not going to hurt There anything. you go. Yeah, it's supposed to be a garnish, but yeah, so we garnish the pot. <laughs> there. All right, here we garnish to me. That's it. And you can't go wrong when you garnish with bacon. Yeah. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is that. And what How we did... How long does it cook? It's, it's done. done. All you have to heat it through. Chicken's cooked, bacon's cooked, celery's cooked, everything's cooked. All you had to do was heat up... The cream and the milk. So I'm telling you, time. Jacqueline. That was a really quick meal. I know, wasn't that quick? That That's was really my nice. kind of meal. Yeah. Yeah. Again, every yeah. day. At about five o'clock, mm. I think. Yeah. Dinner again. <laughs> <laughs> and I, if you wanted to, you could almost put some uh, some Tabasco, some hot pepper sauce in there, zing it up a little bit. It's up to you what you like. Okay. And um, I don't like anything. I want to add one more thing though that's not on the recipe. Oh, and could you maybe like put? A little cheese on top, like Parmesan, or I think you could. If put you're cheese. not on the other diet. no, I think I really think you could. I am going to add a little bit of nutmeg because anytime there's cream in a recipe, nutmeg really, really pushes up the flavor. So we're going to put a little bit of nutmeg in. Like you with the fresh nutmeg. Well, you I just know. happen to have this in my. Every, who doesn't have that in their <laughs> cabinet? Well, you know, here's my thing about. I've never even ah! seen this. Well, and then of course you just throw the whole thing in. I don't know where it went. <laughs> yeah, well, someone will it. find it. And I don't know. Be king for the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, somewhere I saved a drowned nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a hero. <laughs> <laughs> I saved our soup too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Don't let the soup boil. We'll just put, we put it on a low simmer. And now the things. Now we were gonna put some other things in there. Yes. For... Yes. Now here's the thing. Let me get a bowl. And a scooby thing. Yes. Um, so here it is. One way. So here is for those who are ketoing. And staying away from carbs. And staying away from carbs. Then, ready for the children, <laughs> or for anybody else who wants it. Oh, let me get. We make pasta, pasta, pasta. And here, let's. Here we go, ready. <laughs> well, don't put it. Oh, yeah, just in a bowl, okay. <laughs> Because you could put pasta. There you, you go, just have, a little bit, and then you can stick the. Uh, if you had leftover rice, you could use that at the yeah. bottom. That would yeah. be good. That would Especially, be good too. Oh, look at how nice this is. Whenever I get like a Chinese rice on the side and I have a lot extra, I just leave it in my fridge first. Yeah. Always a good thing to have leftover rice. And there you have it, my dear. Some pasta in that one? Yeah, and none in that one. And you have dinner for the whole family. Let's taste it. It's very, very hot. 
mm. good with all the really all the done. flavors in it. And if you want a little added deliciousness, you just put a little grated cheese. Uh, Parmesan cheese is what, what I'm using. What a great idea. But why couldn't yeah. you? Because I was thinking when I was uh, sniffing the soup over there, I thought, cheese. It could use a little cheese. Mm. Everything can use a little cheese. Mm. That's really very, very nice. Why are we using one very, spoon? Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I only have dishes. one spoon. <laughs> Don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you must have to do an extra. Not one extra. Not one extra spoon. 